in this lesson i will explain to you how you can make a stacked area chart by using the pivot table so one more time i will show you how you can make the pivot table you can copy the pivot table this is my pivot table then you have to click on the analyze table in the actions group open this arrow select entire pivot table with the help of keyboard just press control c this is for copy and now i am going to paste it paste is control v on your keyboard so see the same table is there but we are not going to apply the same table i am going to change this a little bit here i needs only year so we will bring here year drop this back so now we have years here but i do not want too many years i want suppose only 10 different years or 10 years so one way is open this arrow this is the filter deselect it and select whatever years you are looking for but i will show you one more decent way how you can select your desired years so see suppose i want from 2001 to 2015 select this portion right click on your right click you will have filter option in filter option keep only selected items click on it then you can have only your desired portion of the number of years i will show you here right okay now here i will bring rating here and the same thing if you want to apply some kind of filter on rating more sort options here and descending z to a count of a title or by rating whatever you want if i say rating so this one now how you can make the graph this is the pivot table analyze tab click here this is the pivot chart as i have told you that we are learning the area chart this is the area chart click here and these are the different patterns of the area chart this is the stacked area chart this is 100% stacked area chart this is 3d and so on but we will make here stacked area so click here and then okay then you can see the chart is here right okay so now we are going to give this table a name so what you have to do click on the table and analyze here here you can write down the name suppose this name is uh we can say this is the rating rating and years right so this table name is rating and years if you want to see this one click here and then you will see this is the genre and rating if you want to see that this chart from which table this chart is picking the values taking the values so what you have to do right click and then select data and here in this window you will see that this chart is taking the values from rating and years table same thing if you want to if suppose you have too many tables or too many charts here you want to see that this chart from where this are this chart is taking the values so right click then you have to go on the select data and here is the rating table so this is our rating table and so on now one more interesting thing i am going to show you that see this is my column width if i stretch increase or decrease my column width so you will see that these charts will also change their position i want to keep i say i do not want when i will increase or decrease my cell values or my uh, column width or height whatever the size of my chart should remain the same they should not move so what i have to do so this select this chart right click and then you will see format chart area click here i will close this we will open another format chart area here another box so this one you have to click the third one size and properties and click on the second one right you can select second and third there is a little bit difference this is your home homework you have to click on the third one and then you have to write down in the comment section what changes you have seen if it still is not clear you can ask me i will explain to you but this is your homework i am going to click the second option and see now when i am going to increase the width and the column this chart is fixed is not moving but you say the same function you want to apply on all the charts right so in one shot what you have to do you have to select this chart and then press and press control so it this is also selected and for the third one 
press control these all are selected go there size and properties click by default always you will see it will hear move and size with cells means the charts will move when you will increase or decrease the size of the cell here move but do not size with cells okay select this option and then see what will happen i will show you here we are here if i will increase now decrease this will not move right so they will not move here you can see if i will increase or decrease this chart will not change the position so from where just right click and then this box size and properties right so in this lesson you have learned how you make the stack chart in the next lesson i will show you how we can make the timeline how we can in how we can uh, create a relation between all these charts so meanwhile you can practice it subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching